Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Extra Rice with Coco. I told you guys I had something special in store for you. First of all, I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. Guess what today I have? A seafood boil! And for the first time, I made bee love sauce. Let me show you. I have it on top here, put onions in. It's so interesting, it smells so good, especially with the um, the ginger and whatnot. Look at this, look at it. Um, of course, like I didn't wanna make it with just tons of butter, so I added a little chicken stock to it. And today, I want to send a heartfelt thank you for all of this seafood. It has been sponsored by J and C Fish Market Incorporated. If you haven't been to them, go to them right now. So the address for them is 131-27 Rockaway Boulevard, South Ozone Park, New York, 11420. If you don't know, it's right off the Q9 bus. Get into it if you haven't been to South Ozone Park. JNC Fish Market Incorporated specializes in fresh seafood, steamed seafood, and fried seafood. Literally, you can walk into the store, you can choose the fish that you want, have it filleted, and you can either have them steam it for you or fry it for you. The phone number for the location is 718-322-7370. You can also catch them on Instagram at at J-A-N-D-C-F-I-S-H-M-A-R-K-E-T. That's at J-N-C Fish Market. Thank you so much to the entire Chun family at JNC Fish Market for sponsoring this mukbang. Yay! So, you'll see in the description box below, I'll put all the information in and also put a little shout out for them. You'll see a little bit of the um, place, what it looks like, the fish. If you live in the metropolitan New York City area, you gotta go hit them up because they literally have everything. Look at all of this. Let me tell you what I did today. I slaved in this kitchen to make this boil for all you guys because I love you so much. So, I'll tell you what we have today. Of course, look, we got snow crab legs. Yeah, snow crab. I have snow crab, I have langoustines. I've never tried these before. These look like little lobsters are so good. I have green-lipped New Zealand mussels, hard-boiled eggs, corn on the cob. I put some little baby potatoes in there, baby portobello mushrooms, and of course we have our lemon and some shrimp. I am so excited for this. I slaved away and I'm ready to get into this. Okay, so I have to admit to you guys, I'm really not like a professional seafood eater. You're gonna catch me and I'm gonna be like so discombobulated trying to eat this, but whatever, let's do this. I'm so excited, it's my first sip. And of course, Diet Pepsi. Let's do this. So I have her sauce off to the side. I'm gonna dip it in, it's so hot. Mm. Mm. This sauce is so hot. Mmm.
you know what? Let me rearrange some of this and see if I can fit the sauce up here. Oof. Got it on here. Sweating, child. Can you guys even see me? This is so much. I don't even know how to open these. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at these. Okay, this sauce is scorching hot. Mmm. 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 Excuse the police sirens. They were a bit much. Mmm. Mm. This is so good. So again, I'm not really an experienced crab eater, so let me go ahead and do this. When in Rome, just get dirty. Ooh. Okay. So I've been seeing them use their um, scissors and whatnot. I know people probably don't do it with this snow crab because you can do it without it, but I don't care, I'm using it. Because I don't even know how to open these. I know y'all thinking, oh my God, he don't know how to eat these. I really don't. My one friend says I'm such a novice at eating crab. I like them. I just don't like to do all the work. Let me tell you something. I know this is gonna be messy and anything. Plus, I don't even know how to open these and I don't even know how to eat them very well. Whatever. He loves life. Teach me how to eat these crab legs. Please. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, once you get to the meat, it's really good.
What's the tip on how to craft these? Someone please tell me. Because obviously I don't know. I ain't playing. I'm about to get all this meat up out here. Let's get a mussel. Do you see the little potatoes too? Look at these mussels. So juicy. Hmm. Let me get the seed out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Oh my God, I got it, look. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it. I'm such a goofball. It's gonna break though. Oh God, I got it all. I feel so excited having done this. <laughs> I told you, I'm like a novice. I don't know how to do any of this. But I really wanted to do this for you guys because I see everybody's doing a seafood for you. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I did it again. I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's like a crack, half, crack, crack, do crack, something. I don't know. Let me see if I have my teeth after this. Mmm. <clears throat> This is messy, y'all. She be making it look so neat and whatnot when she eats. <coughs> Excuse my cough. I know these shrimps are small, but I just got the medium ones because I didn't want to be gluttonous and get the big ones. Did it again. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Yay! Mm-hmm. 
Y'all know I was struggling in the beginning, but I think I have the hang of it now. It is good. It's so messy. Mm. I guess once you get that hang of it, you just wiggle, wiggle, jiggle. touch the glass because my hands are so freaking dirty. Mmm. Now I know why people like this so much. This meat is real sweet. I didn't realize how much I made, but y'all already know I don't know how to cook for one person or even two people. I cook for a family of 10. So anyway, let's talk a little. I don't really have much to say. I was just so excited for this seafood boil. I told y'all I was gonna have something special for y'all. I slept in the kitchen for this. I mean, who doesn't love a seafood boil? Okay, I'm having difficulty getting this one out. Ah, oh, there it goes. So what are you guys doing for your 4th of July? I know we were talking about it all week. I just relaxed. Went swimming today. It's just a chillax day, it's so hot. Not trying to be out in this heat. Mm. 
I got to handle that real quick. Oh. I forgot to put little sausages too. While I was boiling up the seafood, put a little Zaran's boil in it. Here are the baby portobellos. And do your sausage. Mmm. Do another muscle. This here is a feast. A feast. Carbo egg. I think next time I'm not gonna put chicken stock in the sauce because it kind of diluted it a little. I still like it, but it'd be better without. Okay, corn and cob. Hmm. This is real sweet. Ain't much talking on this one. I'm just enjoying this feast. <sighs> Let's get into one of these little, little, little lobsters too again. I really enjoyed this. This was really good. We'll just cut into this. These were really delicious. Okay. 
I like the onion in her sauce too. So, that was another element. I thought about a lot of spices there, but it's not spicy at all. When I was putting it in, I was thinking, God, this is going to be so spicy. But it was just right. Hands down, those little lobsters are my favorite. Definitely. Totally my favorite. Now I know why all y'all love seafood boys. Ooh. Let me get into another light. That was horrible. I'll be worried about my teeth because you know one's in the bag ain't working out well <laughs> This definitely gets you real full, real quick. Bro, this is a lot. I'm getting that muscle. I like the combo with the mussels, with the potatoes, and I'm gonna have a mushroom at the same time and try to eat it all at the same time. think I could do it.
Mm. 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 Hands down. Those little lobsters, the mussels, this, this is my little own sequence of what I love. Little lobsters, mussels, snow crab, then the scripts. The corn of the eggs is just an accoutrement. But these mussels, ooh, they are so on point. with the sauce. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna try one more leg. Let's see if I got it. Ooh. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, I should have I shouldn't have spoken so soon. Jiggle, jiggle out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, queen, please. No, it's not going to do it. Ugh, it didn't. Whatever. Thought I had it. it. Was just out. I'm out. There it goes. Mm. 
All right, all my coconuts. I know I didn't really chat that much on this one, but I really wanted to take the time again to thank JNC Fish Market Incorporated. I want to thank all my loyal coconuts. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications, like, comment, and share. I want to thank all my coconuts for supporting me since day one. This has been so interesting to do a seafood oil. I've wanted to do a seafood oil since the beginning of the inception of like starting a mukbang channel. I've always watched B Loves Life. She makes it look so good and so easy. Um, this definitely is a lot of work. It's an undertaking, especially if you're doing it yourself. Um, it's a lot of cooking flavors. Sauce is really delicious. I'm I'm pretty sure that it probably tastes better at her house the way she makes it. But one day I'll get to get to taste that. But I wanted to say on this 4th of July, I'm very thankful. I am very humble. Um, I have been thinking about a lot of things in my life and what I need to take onus for and what I need to improve on. I constantly just ask God for um, understanding, respect, love, and to be a better person and to learn from my mistakes. And on this 4th of July, I'm really thankful to be an American. Um, so I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And I hope you enjoyed this seafood royal. Yeah.